I'm Anna van Rossum, and I'm a roboticist. I build robots for the last 10 years. Um, all type of different robots, um, self-reconfigurable robots that can alter shapes like transformers, um, swarms of drones that we have used to detect and find dune fires and forest fires. Um, also, industrial cleaning machines in, with which we autonomously clean warehouses and supermarkets. And what I was thinking was, where actually does my love of robots come from? And I had to go back to my childhood. I'm raised in Goere Overflakke, an island in the south of Holland, in a very religious Christian family. Um, I can tell you some rules we had. For example, I was not allowed to watch television or listen to the radio or bike on Sundays or have a Christmas tree with Christmas or watch the fireworks at New Year's Eve. As a kid, I was allowed to read and I had also popular science magazines. And in those magazines, there were puzzles. And although we didn't have a television as such, we had a computer. And I used that computer to solve those puzzles for me. I think since I was 10 or so, the computer was an extension of my brain. It even got me a prize so now and then. And also, if I think a little bit more, it was not so much a friend, but it at least didn't bully me, it didn't tease me, it didn't judge me, it did obey me. It was pleasant as a kid. If you now forward again to me as a roboticist, I'm trying to make the computer more and more intelligent every year. Um, towards that, um, I put them into boxes, so-called embodiment. We make robots from them, so they can behave like animals and humans are. It's very intelligent to be able to walk around as such. One of the things is, and I'm convinced about it, are those robots not gonna be as smart as us? And are there, is there not a time in which they're going to be smarter than us? I think the answer will be yes. Moreover, if we have those robots as such in this world, don't you think we as humans are actually not able to solve all the problems we have? Don't we need them? I think the answer to this is a resounding yes. We have a lot of problems in the world. We don't know how to distribute food in the world. If there is an asteroid on a collision course with Earth, we don't know how to deter it. We don't even know how to organize who lives where on this planet, having artificial barriers. We don't know how to prevent war. Question is, if we are going to be the people that are going to dictate to those robots what they are going to do, are we actually so morally superior to do so? Can we play for God? Can we dictate what they do? We eat other species for pleasure. We are quite an evil species in ourselves. We kill and we run havoc on people that live on the other side of a river or that have a, do a different religion than ours. And even if we would be able to say and say, okay, we are morally superior and we can do this, we can say what is right and what is wrong, can we actually do so? A robot is not programmed like a normal computer. It is more like how you are teaching your children. Can you program your kids? Can you program your cats? A robot cannot be programmed like that. 
is being teached right now already. It's a scary thought, but we won't be in control. However, I want to bring a positive thought. If robots are going to evolve to be super intelligent beings, isn't it logical that they also will be super empathetic? Empathy is a neural construct. It's based on mirror neurons. It allows us to feel what other people are feeling and experience what other people are experiencing. If we have these kind of constructs in our brains, what about super intelligent beings? I think it's quite a statement to say, yeah, the super intelligence being will exist, but they will have subpar empathy. Do you guys know the three laws of Asimov? The three laws of robotics the, from the guy who wrote iRobot. First law, a robot should never harm a human being. The second law, a robot should always obey a human being. And the third law, a robot should never commit suicide. I think these laws show how human-centric our laws are. And my challenge to you this time is not so much to ask questions, but to come up with your own laws for robots in this case, and to think about what kind of things you would say to a being like that. Don't think about a computer, think about your children, think about your friends. Thank you.